Hello friends, welcome to TechPlus Lab and today I'm going to review two of the most budget friendly true wireless headphones that are available right now. This video is going to be fun but the reason why I'm doing this review is because I haven't actually bought the true wireless headsets for quite some time. So I bought these true wireless headsets uh, basically when they are actually new and uh, I'm quite impressed with them but there's always something lacking in them like I always expected that there is a lot of scope for improvement in this budget segment. And the other reason why I'm doing this review is because I can see how these can actually flood the markets across the globe. No matter where you live you might find the exact same models or some iterations of the same models with some other features missing. It wasn't actually that long ago because honestly after we bought that and we reviewed it and maybe after six or so months later it was launched by the same company in our country for almost double the price but so it's, it's, there is not much of a gap and also the super cheap budget friendly f21 model that i reviewed back then is still available on several online retailers in my country and also on several uh, sites like ebay and other global sites so it's not really that outdated the ones that i have are from the brands petron and we cool we already did a review on one of these products uh, one of the brands but i don't necessarily call these brands the term brand in my opinion is a very prestigious term and these are most likely like resellers or traders in my opinion these are not brands brands should have a proper research and development team and their own unique designs and all only then we can consider that as a proper brand so this is going to be a very useful video for some of you guys to know what to look for if you're in a really really cheap budget segment for true wireless headphones we're not even talking about a $20 range, we're talking about below $10. That is super cheap, especially for true wireless headphones. So I chose this particular uh, sub $10 price range, especially because this is the price point where things go south. And obviously this is the exact price point that a lot of people are interested in trying out new stuff every now and then. And also if you go above $15 or even above $20, you're going to get some top quality audio to true wireless headsets and you can just find them by googling out. So based on my opinion, I'm going to analyze whether we did reach a particular next generation kind of thing here with these true wireless headsets or not. Like if we, if you already have a previous super low cheap budget true wireless headsets, should you upgrade them right now or not in that kind of a perspective. So let's quickly go through the features that these have. First of all, both of these are type C and uh, both of these have a whopping 40 hour plus playback time with the buds. And they also come with a Bluetooth 5.3, which is the latest version of the Bluetooth. First, let's start with the build quality. I mean, I can just simply say that we did actually move a step up in this particular category, especially not considering the gaming headsets, which do have a better case design and build quality. But um, just feeling the quality of the plastic here is quite good. It's actually much better than those flimsy translucent upper shell cases that are like uh, squeaky and really cheap. These are not like that. Both of these have a really good quality plastic build like uh, you should spend at least 30 dollars to get this kind of a qu case quality if it's like a year ago or something like that so these are that good so the case of the vehicle is much better than the petron in my opinion it's also very compact and very very easy to carry anywhere it's in fact one of the smallest cases that i have seen in this price point and it's just awesome on the other hand, this Petron has a really bulky case that's almost 70% bigger than the Vicool and even any of the other ones from the last generation. And I think it's because they need to house the hooks. So I guess that's okay for some people, but mostly it's going to be an inconvenience more than a convenience. So let's quickly jump into the external features. Now, as I told you, this case has a Type-C port. Both of them has a Type-C port, which is a good addition. And now 
well, the other thing that we should look for here is the charging indication at which the Petron does win this game because it does have at least four LEDs which is the quite basic thing that a true wireless headset should have because otherwise how do you know how much charge is left on the other hand this vehicle device has like a single LED and it's only to indicate whether your charging is complete or not it's really stupid because you would never know how much charge is left or how many charges are left in the case unless it's the last charge now one thing you might have already noticed is the fact that both of these have those stupid indications on the back near the USB port and the reason for that is because there is no HAL sensor here which means that these are not quick pair kind of things like you have to open the case and then remove the buds from the case to pair them to your phone which is really silly and stupid it gives a delay of approximately one or two seconds and that could be a deal breaker too for some people even when we're talking about the beginning stages of the true wireless they still had a button which you press to know the charge left in your case i don't know how did these guys actually come up with this stupid idea but this is a total downgrade for both of them even though one of them had a proper indicator like 4 LED indicator the slots for those indications were cut in such a way that when you look it at a certain angle it looks like still there is a lot of juice left because the light reflects through all of the four ports I had to open the case to see if it actually had 4 LEDs before diving deep into the other features and other connectivity stuff let's talk about the comfort first I always say this and I'm repeating this again but comfort is always subjective but in this case these petrons will be most uncomfortable for a lot of people but remember for a lot of people you may not be among that and this may be okay for you the reason for that is these petrons have a tiny nozzle paired with an awkward angle and a bulky front shell this kind of design might actually work for a very few people but that shouldn't be the case because these are aimed at sports people on the other hand the vehicles have the most generic design and it's like it's really comfortable design that's been working quite well for quite some time in the true wireless segment and uh, if you have used something like halos or the redmi buds you know how these will fit in these are kind of similar shaped and the comfort is kind of okay because you can actually twist them to whatever the direction you want and they will sit right there Adding to all the previous problems that these Beatrons have with the fit, these ear hooks only make it much worse for some people because you cannot twist them in the way you want so that you can actually get a better fit. And these come with long ear hooks and short ones and none of them will actually be useful if you want to fit in any other direction. I did find several other earbuds with the same kind of ear hooks on aliexpress with the different shapes and shells obviously but most of them actually opted for a much better shell design than these petrons so here is my kind of suggestion guys if you do not have a full refund option or a return option and you only have a replacement option for from wherever you are getting the bus, sports buds or sports style hook kind of designs like this one do not buy them you only buy only if they have a complete refund and return policy because in that case it doesn't matter how they sound if it, they don't fit in your ear well it really makes no sense to actually buy them and keep them forever now let's talk about connectivity and first of all i wanted to tell you this don't fall for the version of the bluetooth if it's higher it doesn't mean anything especially if you don't have the appropriate chipset on your smartphone these are backwards compatible with older versions of the bluetooth but if your phone has something like a bluetooth 5.0 and these are then it doesn't matter whether these are bluetooth 5.1 5.2 or 5.3 they are gonna work like a bluetooth 5.0 chip and besides that there's also another issue that you don't get that kind of a bigger range or any advantage of the newer versions of the bluetooth because your source device cannot process that Usually these kind of codecs, uh, the newer versions of the Bluetooth use these special codecs to, comp uh, to compress the mu music more efficiently for the data transfer and that doesn't work 
if you do not have the latest bluetooth version as the buds so you're still gonna have to process the music in the same old uh, old fashion for example in this case only the older sbc format and not the newer formats so you're still not getting that advantage of uh, better latency or better music quality so don't fall for that check the bluetooth version on your source device the reason why i'm telling you this is because you could actually uh, get a little bit older versions of the bluetooth with older models and they will be on sale for uh, really good prices and uh, you're gonna get a much much better experience out of those and you may even get some really good branded set of earbuds for a much cheaper price to take a deeper look i did open both cases and the both buds and here is what i found petron has a gr3014 asic and the vehicle has sy7658ic of both i didn't find much on the gr3014 asic but sy7658 is a most common ic that's been used since last one year i think and it's been used very widely and is well known for better charging from the data sheet we can actually see that sy7658 has all kind of overcharge protection and over discharge protection and all other features but i didn't see anything about the reverse polarity protection but i think it's been controlled by the charging circuit of the battery and that's totally fine with petron but with vehicle we can actually swap the left and right earbuds so you may accidentally put left in the right one and right in the left one i did that and it still charges and it doesn't blow up so i guess we do have a proper charging circuit and a battery ic here so it's kind of nice to see that so that's something to note and none of these are really excellent kind of ic's or anything like that but these are mass produced and used in a lot of these uh, cheap uh, true wireless headsets but it's a necessity that they do carry this kind of protection because this is for the safety and not something like a fancy feature one thing to note here is that these newer ICs have a much much lesser kind of components around them so it, it, it just means that you may be seeing a lot of these super compact super lightweight and extremely compact designs of the charging cases soon and vehicle is already super compact but Petron didn't use that although there is nothing on the PCB it's almost empty we do see that they use this space to place those stupid ear hooks I guess I just mean to say that it's a bad idea to actually waste so much space for a such an uncomfortable design and that being paired with the ear hook design I don't mean that these ear hook designs are bad or bad big base big cases are bad sorry okay if that hurt anyone I'm sorry but I don't mean that also I did find a lot of listings on Aliexpress with much better uh, case shapes and compact designs in comparison to this Petron where they had these ear hooks inwards so that they consume much lesser space and the case looks much sleek and simple what's funny is that this stupid brand vehicle on the other hand did have a proper IC that supports proper charging circuit but they didn't uh, and charging indication circuit sorry uh, but they didn't bother about putting this just because they could save some money on it just few cents on a couple of leds and a little bit of space on the pcb and there is enough space inside the case too and they just didn't bother putting it that's really disappointing and this petron actually did put in four leds but they were almost not really that readable out of the case and it's quite inconvenient and not only that they did not have a proper light channel so that's the reason for all that scattering of the light everywhere and also they blow up into the uh, whole room if you're using this thing at night so they create a lot of light distraction so it's really not a good design at all so both of them had issues and it's funny how they both managed to have two different stupid issues at the same time. It only gets even better when you take a look at the teardown of these earbuds. Guess what? Both of them actually have the same Bluetooth 5.3 chipset which is made by JL Audio AD6983D4 to be specific. What's even better is that this chipset is not even a super low-end chipset. In this family, this 8698384 d 4 is the top tier of the basic chipsets. 
it's not a mi even a mid tier it's a basic chipset but among those this is one of the better ones for those of you who are new to these ic brands and stuff like that jl audio is not really a bad brand and it's even been used by sony and philips in their super budget low end models not in true wireless but in speakers and other bluetooth equipment so it's not a bad brand some of the great features that this chip supports are the acoustic echo cancellation and environmental noise cancellation when it comes to the mic and audio and it also supports a 20 band eq configuration for voice effects it also supports the usual codecs like spc and aac audio codecs but since we're talking about the mics let's talk about the microphone on these particular headsets now here is a fun fact guys this vehicle device actually advertises like uh, the vehicle brand actually advertises that this particular two wireless headset has a dual mics with all kind of echo cancellation and all the kind of stuff but they sound like shit now according to the data sheet it does support all of that but i don't think any of those were implemented in this i don't even think that it actually has a dual mics because on one of the advertisements it shows that the bottom hole is for the secondary mic but when i opened the earbud i didn't find any mic at that place and another fun fact it only supports one mic with environmental noise cancelling and it supports two pdm digital mic inputs so what does that mean that means it these guys have to use a mem mic to actually have two mics in this one to have a dual mic system and i highly doubt that because these guys are cutting costs on everything and i don't even think that they actually use dual mic system because it doesn't sound like that MEMs are the newer mic technologies that use a pressure to receive the mic unlike uh, the typical analog microphones but don't worry about it because it's not really that great in comparison they were actually made to make the size of the PCB smaller and they are much slimmer than the typical mic systems so that's why they were invented not to really increase any kind of a voice reception or anything but they can be situated in stems of those newer true wireless headphones so that's why usually these brands use them but not for any other reasons don't get confused here I will be providing some mic samples by the end of this but remember that Petron does an excellent job at this. Now after opening we can actually see that it only has a regular analog mic and it's actually really good. It's much better and they did use that environmental noise cancellation technology with a single mic. So here are the mic samples for both of these in different situations so i did record them like in different ways for example this vehicle can be held either up or down or in any angle so i just recorded it uh, wearing up and down so you judge for yourself the mic quality of these earbuds environment this is the voice recording test for petron based buds sports v2 2022 without any noises around in a quiet environment this is the voice recording of Petron Vapors V2 in a noisy environment with fan running around me. This is the voice recording sample with Petron TWS simulated rain and thunder sound in the background and fan running around me. If it actually records well and you can hear this voice well in this situation too, then this is exceptional. This is the mic test sample for the Wipool Moonwalk M1 2022 with earphones facing upwards. This is the mic recording sample with the M1 EMC with the earphones facing downwards. Isn't it really surprising how well the Petron actually handled the noise, environmental noise uh, with a lot of my these recordings? I was impressed with that. So the one that does not advertise like having some extraordinary mics does actually have a much better mic than anything in its price point and the one that advertises so has the worst quality mic. And here is one more fun fact, I thought that Petrons are gonna outperform the vehicle in battery department especially because they seem to have a bigger battery when I did the teardown but once again 
this came with a surprise that we could actually outperform Petron. Whatever I did till now, the teardowns and research on the ICs and the technology, all that is kind of fun for me. But what I did for this battery testing part is quite tedious and I really regret doing this. I actually tested both of these after fully charging them, including the buds and the case to see if they give out that promised battery backup. And yes, it's kind of fun doing that with a weak cool device. They kind of sound okay, but with the patrons it's quite tedious. Even I, even watching the movies is like tedious. And that's I just use these to watch movies at the night before I go to sleep. And sometimes I did binge watch a lot of the shows. So that's how I tested these. And I must say that the battery backup was not up to the mark in my expectations. So I did listen to these for approximately three hours a day and. The vehicle actually did well. They came for approximately 10 days and the Petrons actually did it for only 8 days before needing another charge. Petron did mention that they, they they will give about 48 hours of backup and these were 40 plus 42 or something. And I really expected them to perform well but that's not the case. I mean it's it's only marginally better but I was surprised pleasantly with the vehicle that they actually did perform well. I was able to crank the volume up on the vehicle so I did listen to them at a much higher volumes than on with the Petrons but they still gave a better battery backup. One thing that I clearly noticed is the hissing is not present in any of these like it used to be a huge issue in the beginning like when you pause the music you'd hear this hissing sound always but now we're not hearing that at all when it comes to the latency there is no gaming mode or a low latency mode so you're gonna have a lot of latency and these are not at all recommended for gaming even for casual gaming however there are a lot of other models with the same ic that implemented low latency so these guys just saved the cost there again here is another awesome fact now this Petron, the name of this headset is Base Buds Pro V2, right? Sports, of course, Sports Base Buds V2 Pro, whatever. But the base on vehicle is much better and much cleaner than the Petrons. And that brings us to the sound quality. Now here is the biggest problem. The sound quality on Petrons is just bad. And vehicle sounds so much better in comparison even at this price point it sounds okay it's not for everyone sure it has a lot of coloring in the sound but it's still a lot better than the petrons so the reason for this is that petron actually has two modes one is movie mode and other is a music mode and what's worse you cannot turn off them so there is no EQ off option. You are going to have to listen to these through the movie mode or through the music mode. And they didn't really equalize either of those well. To explain about the sound quality of the Petrons, I might have to talk about the vehicle device first. So how does the vehicle sound? Well, it sounds okay as I told you, but to explain it clearly, the bass on this is definitely on the higher side. It's not too loud but it is much louder than the other frequencies so what happens is when you crank up the volume all the way up you're gonna hear a little bit of a shake in your eardrums which is kind of like uh, if you have that much of output first of all which most of the devices these days do have so you're gonna get that little bit of a rumble there like using a uh, bigger sized head headsets with a bass boosted kind of a EQ so you're gonna get that beautiful sound but there is no tonality to the bass. The bass always sounds like boom, 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 nothing else. And uh, good news is that it, it doesn't really affect the other frequencies as much as you would think with this much of a bass boost, but it still doesn't sound great. Like because it doesn't have a tonality as I mentioned before, so you cannot really distinguish between the different type of basses here. But at this price point, I think people don't really look for that. And one thing that I should mention is that vehicles on their side said that these were having a titanium coating based drivers. Of course, they just said it like a titanium drivers, but we should assume that they were titanium coated drivers. And that really surprised me because at this price point, getting a titanium coated driver and I just didn't believe it. But when I did use this with a super low end basis and I did crank the sub base up all the way, including the 
20 hz frequencies they made a lot of different and in comparison to even a lot of wired headsets now that could be totally distortion because it's harder to hear the 20 hz frequencies but when you're hearing that at this price point it's nicer to assume that it could be a distortion but since it's bass that is just sounds fun you could play around with the eq with these vehicles and have a lot of fun actually with sound quality the mids of course are leaned back a little bit and treble presence is there but it's nothing really awesome or anything it's just there and uh, there is a bit of instrument separation but not really uh, to distinguish a lot of instruments here so it's pretty average but not really bad also the upper mids and the other treble is laid back but still when there is not much of a bass you can clearly hear some of those cool instruments in the background so it's kind of okay and a little bit listenable experience in comparison to a lot of other earbuds now that being said none of these actually offer that clear deep vocals or clarity in the instruments and separation and a bigger sound stage or anything like that so i wasn't really impressed with the sound quality of either of these but we can sound it so much better now Petron explaining Petrons right now is going to be much easier because it's going to be making them sound worse simply putting it that way for example if you crank up the music mode it's not going to change anything in that kind of sound signature but it puts out the female vocals to a little bit higher which in turn creates uh, which in turn messes up the other frequencies and creates that sharp sound sometimes not always but sometimes so it's gonna sound a little bit clipped up and it's gonna sound a little bit like a chopped off on the uh, upper frequencies and then it's gonna have that sharp treble kind of impact on ears and when you switch to the movie mode what happens is it, it kind of boosts bass a little bit which is already muddy so it makes them sound a little bit odd for music and then it, it just mess up the other frequencies in the treble too so it's gonna have the weird awkward sounding eq at times and remember that this is not the case always it, you can only observe this when you have like these kind of uh, highly metallic sounds and uh, also with bass and a lot of other uh, vocals being shouty kind of a feel sound songs so it's not going to be audible always but when you do hear it you just want to take this out so it's not a pleasant experience and this also gives a little bit more sibilance than required i usually don't complain about sound quality because if it's eq'd differently then it might suit somebody else it may not be for me but it might be for you but that's not the case with the petrons these were tuned so that it will not be good for a lot of people so when do i call earphones bad is when they have major issues like distortion check these do have it at a much higher volume not really but ab above but about like 80 percent of the volume or above 90 percent of the volume depending upon device you might hear a little bit of distortion but that's not acceptable but it's kind of okay when you're listening to podcasts or listening to music casually or you wanted to just listen to some audiobooks or even some acoustic songs where they don't have a lot of other instruments obviously and you just want to listen to the vocals kind of things it's gonna be okay for that but also one good thing is that these are not really stressful to listen to like they don't have this shouting in the ear kind of a feel they have much uh, more relaxed kind of sound when compared to other headsets in this price point so that's okay Although EQing of sound is gone wrong in this headset, it can be a lot better when done by the professionals, so that's great. And also the environmental noise cancelling has just gone to the next step here because it's really good at this price point. I never expected that we'd get this kind of a clarity in mics, so that's also a great thing. So now imagine this vehicle device having a properly implemented EQ system and a battery indication and also the mics well implemented like on the patrons then this would have been a steal even at a little bit more price like a couple of dollars more this would have been an excellent option i would have strongly recommended this and as for this video I do like the vehicle devices much more than the Petrons but that's my personal preference and I cannot recommend Petrons to a lot of people just because of the sound quality which may not suit a lot of people and this uh, also don't have a repl replacement oh, sorry 
full refund policy so you're gonna stick with them if you buy them so i would suggest not to buy them by the way i also connected these to an older smartphone to pull out the bluetooth hci snoop file and uh, it's a log file that says a lot about connected device so the reason why i did this was the chip used 8069 83d has several versions and past versions use an older bluetooth ic just to verify that these are using a bluetooth 5.3 i did connect it and yes in fact it is using the latest version 5.3 so at this price point i do think that uh, two wireless uh, earbuds still haven't gotten every feature that every necessity feature that we need we're not asking for something like a wireless charging or active noise cancellation i have seen another model that has all these features and okay mics but it doesn't have a type c port even every device these days even the lowest possible android smartphone almost has a type c port and at this point these are extension of your smartphone you'll be carrying these wherever you're going with your smartphone so it's not really something that you'd want because you don't want to carry two cables with you so the point of using true wireless is convenience and if any of these features lack that then there's no point in adding additional features Actually, these people who import stuff from China, they're compromising on some of the basic, very basic features that are must for true wireless. If you can access sites like AliExpress, I would recommend getting these directly from there because they offer much better specs including the waterproofing which is IPX7 while in this case it's only IPX4. It's a shame that even Petron which is aimed at being a sports earbuds still have IPX4 water rating. So my suggestion would be to spend a couple of more dollars or do deeper research and get something with all the features that you want. To sum it all up, we have a very well optimized ICs now that can also give a better battery backup and we also have really good mics with better environmental noise cancelling. We do have a music mode and a movie mode and some other custom EQing and there is most importantly no hissing when pausing the music and really good build quality and also a very well optimized latency mode on some of the models so the only problem here is that we're not getting all of those in a single package so if you're in a market for a super low cheap budget earbuds make sure you make a checklist of what you really need most because if you don't do that there are chances that you might be missing one of the most important things that you need in your true wireless earbuds thank you for watching and have a nice day hope you learned something with this video